Hello ladies and gentlemen, Q here with another tutorial. This one is a user request that reads, I do have a specific question on the project I'm working on. I have a color image with five people. Is it possible to just turn only one of these people into black and white and leave the rest in color? So that's what I'm going to be showing how to do. Of course, first thing to do we uh, want to find an image because I don't know the image that the individual is working with so people and uh, we find an image with some people um, I'm gonna go with this one it has four people in it. it's not five but you know close enough All right, so let me go ahead and save that image Seems rather large, so that's a good thing. And I uh, think I'm going to make this sad looking guy into black and white. Because he's the only one that looks sad. You know, she looks happy, she looks happy, and he looks a little bit angry. But this guy is clearly the one that looks depressed. So let's go ahead and work with that. So we go ahead and load the image into the paint.net program. And the process is actually very similar to the one where we took one item and turned it into black and white. So we basically want to duplicate the layer so that we have our working um, image up here. So we can go ahead and disable the bottom one. And what we want to do is basically, um, but by the way, we want to keep working with the top image. What we want to do is remove everything that's not the person that we want in black and white. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and do like a selection here, right? So just select the guy and we have some parts out there. So just control, you know, hold control and continue selecting him and, you know, that should do it. Um, let's go ahead and invert selection. So that now we've selected everything that's not the guy, and we go ahead and delete. Right? There's a top layer. Remember that we still have the bottom layer completely. Right? Um, so we continue working with the top layer, removing all the stuff that's not the main guy. So I'm going to go ahead and see if the magic wand works. Maybe we just tone down the tolerance a little bit so that we don't actually select the guy. We just want to select the uh, white stuff around him, All right? Let's see, we select that, so maybe a little bit less still. Tolerance at 30%, and I'm hoping that will do it. Well, maybe I'll just start down here at the bottom. There. All right, and then Control and keep keep clicking on. All the stuff that you don't want in your image. Right, so click. Over here, you know, that looks just about fine. Click on here. And the reason that we're doing this is, of course, because we don't want any of that stuff. When we turn him into black and white, let's maybe lower the tolerance a little bit to 0.5. So hopefully we don't also get the jacket here. All right, awesome. So just continue over here. All right, we've pretty much selected all the background, and we go ahead and delete the background. And now what we need to do is delete the rest of the image that's around him. So we go ahead and select this. We need to use the lasso for this. I'm just going to, there we go, delete. And... You're using the lasso, you want to be a little bit careful right. so that you don't accidentally, you know, like cut into his arm or something or her arm if what you're turning into black and white is a woman. All right, so I feel like what I just did here, you don't want to do that, but you know, since this is just a tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and roll with it. Over here, let me just finish 
taking the dress out of the picture. And you know what, that can stay there. It's just a little bit. It's barely going to be noticeable, if at all. And then for her, uh, this one actually had a solid black dress. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and use the lasso again. Select. Maybe we give it a little bit more tolerance. Maybe 35 will do a trick. Yeah, maybe if we use click on this one. Yep, that will do it. And we can just go ahead and select those extra pixels with the lasso. It's going to take a while because we are so zoomed in. And, bam. and then we, oh, I messed it up. Let's see, undo, undo, undo. There we go. So I'll just go ahead then and use the lasso on the remaining pixels. So what, what had happened there, the reason that his jacket got selected is because when we did, when we did the second lasso, that basically flowed over. The system thought that the colors were similar, so it just went ahead and highlighted the whole thing. All right, so let's just go ahead and do magic wand, maybe a little bit less tolerance. Let's go with 29. Should be good enough. Alright, so we'll control select and then just some more lasso. Then up here, more selection. And I'll go ahead and cut along the border here. And I'm going to call that good enough. All right. All right, so there we have the guy that we want to turn into black and white. Remember that this is like a cutout on top of the full image, right? The guy is in the same place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the top layer and we're going to do adjustments and black and white. Right? Or if you like sepia better, we can do sepia. All right, and then there you go. You have the one guy in black and white and everyone else in color, all right? So that's how you do it. And then once you're done, you just merge the layers. And this one's gonna take a while because it's so large of an image. And you save. All right, and there you have it. There's a full image. Um, I hope this has been useful. I'll see you in a while with the other video request.